What's good everybody? We are back with another 2K25 video and today I'm plugging you guys in with my LeBron James build. This is going to be a very good 6 foot 8 all around build. We all know how hard it is to replicate LeBron James in 2K because you can't really get stats high enough to match what he actually is in real life. But I really think I got the closest representation of him in the entire game. Real quick before we get started, 99% of you that are watching the videos are not subscribed so take a second, drop a sub, drop a like those notifications on because we are going crazy all through 2k25 now without further ado let's get into this video all right so i got some clips to show you guys on this build show you the potential of it but i wanted to show you the animations i'm going to be using on this i put everything i possibly could lebron james animations on even his jump shot and his jump shot's a little bit slow but i also put on his go-to shot which is very quick if you guys haven't taken advantage of these go-to shots yet this year they're a lot of fun they're super fast you can speed boost out of them and a lot of them get you a lot of space to shoot not too much else to say about this, but just wanted to throw this in here, let you know what I was using. And right into the first clip here, I'm going to start out with a LeBron James go-to shot. As you can see, he sizes up, pulls up. He's got a quick jump shot on that. You got to release it pretty early. Also, tell me why I'm making a LeBron James video and they put Jamal Murray on my team. You can see him guarding the ball. Get him off my team. But back to what actually matters. We are throwing LaMelo ball off of us. This is going to be a big bully guard. You're going to finish a ton of contested layups, run people over. Look, we're running right through him and laying that up every time. We're also going to get some decent post control in this build with a high mid range. So you're going to be able to shoot stuff like this. This really is stuff LeBron's doing in real life. So it's really cool to see this replicated in the game. We're throwing him off, running down, stick dunking that one, pulling up a mid range. With his animations on this build, it felt so cool. It literally felt like we were LeBron out there. We're laying that one up. I know it's against AIs, but I say this every time. This shows the potential of the build. And we're going to finish the game just like we started it with LeBron James size up. All right, so for these physical attributes, I say this with any NBA player build I make. I make this as close to them as I can while still making it a good build in the game. So I know LeBron might be 6'9", but we're going to go with 6'8 on this build. We're also going to go position small forward, even though he really could be at any position. And then we're going to go at 230 pounds to be able to get our strength pretty high. But we're also still going to be fast enough to run up and down the court. And then we are going to go with a 7 foot wingspan. With this wingspan at seven foot, it's gonna give us good enough shooting attributes to represent LeBron while also giving us really high defense. And then we're getting right into the finishing here. I already know you guys are gonna be on my head about LeBron James build not starting with contact dunks, but we do get an 84, which unlocks LeBron James dunk style. And then I'm also gonna use my starter three cap breakers on this to get it to 89, and we will get contact dunks on this build. So you really can't say anything about it because we already get LeBron James' style and we're gonna get contact dunks when we hit starter three, which is coming up here in a few days. And we're also going to go with that 80 driving layup, 70 close shot, and a 75 post control, and finish it out with a 46 standing dunk. The 70 close shot's going to help us get silver float game and bronze hook specialist. This is just going to help you make standing layups near the basket. And then this 80 driving layup, we are going to get silver physical finisher. So how is showing you in those clips, finishing over the smaller defenders, plowing through people. 80 layup is really crazy this year, especially if you put on real player percentage. This is also going to get us gold aerial wizards who are throwing down lobs just like LeBron in real life. And we're going to get bronze layup mix master. And then onto the 84 driving dunk here, we are going to start out with bronze posterizer. But as soon as you upgrade that to 89, it will go to silver and you'll unlock those contact dunk animations. LeBron James's style is very good on these bigger builds this year anyway, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. You're going to be dunking a lot. Then this 75 post control is going to go ahead and unlock a silver unpluckable silver post fade phenom silver post powerhouse we're able to back people down and bronze post up poet these badges all complement this lebron james build so well i actually really enjoy the finishing on this build obviously i wish i could put everything a little bit higher but we got to try to balance it out make it a good lebron build and that 46 standing dunk will unlock us a couple of the standing dunk animations and standing dunks this year are very very good so honestly these beginning ones will get the job done on this build and then we are right onto the shooting. We're gonna go with an 84 mid range, 79 three point shot and a 65 free throw. Obviously LeBron's not known for his shooting, but he did have one of his best career shooting years this year. And you already know we had to make sure that mid range is up because he hits those at a super high rate. So this 84 is gonna get us bronze dead eye, silver set shot specialist, bronze shifty shooter and silver post fade phenom. It's also gonna unlock a ton of different jump shot bases. I would have liked to get to 85. That's the one I've been saying is a sweet spot for all these builds but you should still be able to find plenty of jump shots you like at that 84 rating. And then the 79.3, that doesn't unlock us any other badges other than the mid-range ones that we got, but 79 is more than enough to shoot this year. I have 79 on three of my builds and I'm shooting super consistently. Honestly, just find a jump shot you like, practice it, get used to the timing. It's different this year. You're not gonna start out as good as you were last year, but honestly, once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. 
And then we ended up finishing out the shooting with a 65 free throw. We also know LeBron is notoriously not an amazing free throw shooter, but you can still knock him down at a pretty good clip with this 65. And then onto the playmaking here, another area I really wish we could have had more stats to work with for this LeBron build, because I honestly would have given him a 99 pass accuracy if I could afford it. But we end up having to go with the 71. Still super fast passes this year, and we are going to get bronze break starter and silver dimer on this build. This is the one part of the build where I really don't think it fits the description. I think he's one of the greatest passes of all time, and giving him a 71 is criminal, but it's what we got to do to make the build balanced. And then we're going to go ahead and go with a 86 ball handle and 75 speed with ball. I try to hit 75 speed with ball on all of my bigger builds to get that Zion dribble style. The cross launch is so fast and it's a consistent speed boost on these bigger builds. But also having that ball handle at 86 is going to get a silver ankle assassin, silver handles for days, silver unpluckable so we're not getting ripped by those lockdowns. And we're also going to get Hall of Fame strong handle which is honestly a really slept on badge this year. That's how you saw me throwing those people off in the clips. You just bulldoze right through people. It's a really cool badge this year. Not a lot of people are using it. And then for the speed with ball, it's going to unlock a silver lightning launch, which I will be using my max plus one on. So on this LeBron James build, we will have gold lightning launch, which is the same as my six foot six build. We're going to be moving really fast. And then finally onto the defense on this build. Again, wish we could go higher. We can't. We got to make this as balanced as we can to be LeBron James. But we are going to go with a 74 interior, 82 perimeter defense, 73 steel, 78 block and an 80 defensive rebound with how balanced this build is and being six foot eight high weight and high wingspan the defense on this build is going to be a lot higher than the attributes show anyways we're going to get super bumpy up with perimeter defense we're going to get super bumpy bumping posts out of the paint and we're going to be grabbing a lot of rebounds just because we are six foot eight some of the badges we're going to get with these stats we're going to get bronze paint patroller bronze post lockdown silver challenger so we can contest the perimeter shots bronze on ball menace bronze pick dodger Silver Immovable Enforcer, which is one of the most important defensive badges this year to get bumps. We're also going to get Gold Off-Ball Pest, Bronze Glove, and Silver Interceptor. I wanted to hit that Silver Interceptor more than I wanted to hit Bronze Glove just because of how many Interceptors there is this year. This 73 rating is a great bang for your buck attribute because this Silver Interceptor this year honestly feels like Gold. Or even Hall of Fame, who knows, it's very good. And then the 78 block is going to get us Silver High Flying Denier. It's also going to help us get Bronze Pogo Stick and contribute towards that Bronze Paint Patrol that I had mentioned earlier. And then for the defensive rebound, add an 80, which is going to give us Silver Rebound Chaser, Silver Box Out Beast. In order to get these badges on Silver in previous years, you need like an 85 or an 87. So having 2K drop this down to an 80 allows us to have this build be much more well-rounded. And for the physicals, we are going to go with an 82 speed, 80 agility, 84 strength, and an 80 vertical. Again, following suit for kind of the rest of the build, 80s across the board, very solid. 82 is going to have us running around the court very fast on the six foot eight with high weight. The 80 agility is going to have us sliding our feet, getting a lot of bumps on defense. 84 strength, a big centerpiece for this build. It's kind of what LeBron James has built himself on in the NBA. And then we get that 80 vertical. We know he's jumping out the gym and it's going to help when we get contact dunks. Not to mention, it's going to help with our 80 rebound to grab more rebounds. It's honestly going to make the 80 rebound feel like an 85 or an 87 even. Overall, super well-rounded build. Let's check out the build name we get. And we are going to be end up being a two-way, three-level shot creator. Decent build name, not going to complain. If you guys make this build, I hope you really enjoy it. Also, thanks for sticking around at the end. Make sure you drop a like, drop a sub on the way out. And I will see you in the next one.